So with that said, we got a great call lined up for you today. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, this gentleman uh, needs no introduction, but he does. Uh, what can I say? He, he's, uh, wow. Last time I saw him physically, we were all together in, um, in, in, in down in the Bahamas. Yes, hold on one second. Yeah, and down in the Bahamas. Uh, he's a great family man. He's a great leader. He's one of the co-founders go to. He did a training at our last virtual training that ACM put together, which is powerful. He gives up unconditional love. He's also an actor. Him and Mike Pasuti do twice a year up a, a leadership up in Lake Tahoe. What a great way to get away. He also said something, I mean, a, a, a couple last month that was that was just last week that he quoted something from our co-founder, Greg Pramazano. I'm going to say this. I'm going to quote what he gave us. Greg Pramazano said something that changed his life, he said. And this is what Greg Pramazano, our co-founder, said to him. He said, you have earned the right. Listen up. You've earned the right to get paid every single way the company pays you. Wow. And he said, man, that was revolution to him. To open them up all the ways you can get paid in our company. Without further ado, Regional Vice President from Southern California, Platinum Regional Vice President, the one and only, the great Mr. Dean Corrales. Yeah. Thomas, good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. Excellent, sir. Excellent. So, yeah, funny uh, that you started with that quote or that uh, conversation that uh, some of the regional vice presidents had with, uh, with, with Greg Provenzano years ago. And, yeah, he said, look, uh, in, he, he, said, he said, you know, a lot of times what happens is you, you, you hit regional vice president and you feel as though you've arrived. Right. And, and you kind of have, it's a big accomplishment guaranteed that when you go regional vice president and notice that I didn't say if it's all how you think, but when you go regional vice president, there is a big reward, right? Uh, the reward is you have now earned the right to get paid every single way that the company can pay you. And what's amazing about that is, like, you guys, man, I guess a lot of you have your cameras on, a bunch of you don't, but some of you do. Okay, so check this out. Why would you leave a dollar on the table that's yours? Like, why? Why would you leave a dollar on the table that, 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 that could make its way into your account? It doesn't make any sense. Now, is it going to take some work to get there? Absolutely. That's, that's the proof that this is a real business. It's like, like, look, you guys, let me tell you, let me tell you. I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time today, you guys, on talking about how I feel about Mr. Thomas. You guys already know, and, and you guys, I know you feel that way about him. Um, one of the great things about Mr. Thomas and the, the position that he's earned is that he doesn't need to do this. This is a voluntary action. <laughs> what he's doing all these Thursdays, what, uh, let me take that back. What he does every day, I only know about Thursdays every other month. He's in there every day with you guys. Is that is the true sign of a leader when you don't need to do things and you continue to do them really for your team, right? Okay, let, here, let, Mr. Thomas, um, just so everybody has a very clear understanding, I'm not, I'm not divulging any information, just so everybody understands. Would your business survive without doing these daily calls with different RVPs and people that you have speak? Absolutely. Would your business continue to bring you and your family income and create a lifestyle that you've worked really hard for, but you, but you want to maintain and build on? Absolutely. So if those are the case, if that's the case, you guys, he doesn't need to arrange speakers. He doesn't need to be here on this call. He doesn't need to take the kind of notes that I like to take when I hear other leaders speak, but he does that. I will tell you that that comes down to the amount of care and love and respect that somebody has for their business and for their team, whether he's in, whether you're in his downline or not. So I don't take Mr. Thomas for granted. I'm, I'm, I'm asking, I'm sure you guys don't, but I'm asking you guys not to, because, uh, you know, he's the kind of leader that really separates our company, I think from, and there's a lot of great leaders in a lot of great companies, but this is the company that we're a part of. And 
you know, a leader that we get to be in, in business with. So thanks, Mr. Thomas. Um, Thank you, sir. Absolutely. So what he said, you guys, I, I think it's, it's, it's almost a relief when you hear Greg Provenzano say earning regional vice president, amazing, amazing. But here's really what the, the reward is. You have now earned the right to get paid every way that the compensation plan can pay you. By the way, as you guys have heard, Mr. Provenzano, you've heard the co-founders of the company. You know the, the integrity and the character and the vision of the company. And they, they feel like we've barely gotten started yet uh, after 28 years. Who on this call, would that be enough? Just hearing Greg Provenzano say that, who on this call would agree that is enough to, to, to fuel us to go regional vice president, to get paid every way the company can pay you? Heck yes! What? What? Here, I'll give you an example. Just so we're all on the same page with what Mr. Thomas started with us today. How would you feel if you went into work and the owner of the company called you in his or her office and she looks at you and says, hey, look, Mary, Ray, Kelly, Belinda, Bill, Marsha, Marie, Sensational Sharon, Elez, Sergio, Freddie. Hey, I got to talk to Latosha. I got I to gotta talk to you for a second. So we've reworked our compensation plan. It doesn't matter what your position is at the company, by the way. Listen to what she says. Listen, I want to let you know that we reworked your compensation plan. And um, we're going to pay you four different ways for doing what you're already doing. So expect, so when you see another zero on your check this week, you know, that's not a mistake. We kind of altered the compensation plan. By the way, who would look at the boss and faint? Like, what? What are you talking about? What happened? Don't worry about it. You're just going to make a lot more money for doing the exact same thing. By the way, who would be okay with that conversation? Yeah, right? Who agrees with me that that conversation does not happen outside of these walls? <laughs> they do not. Right. By the way, here's the more typical conversation. It goes something like this. Hey, everyone. Um, needed to pull you all together. You know, things have been really, really tricky lately, really tight orders coming in, going out and all that kind of stuff. Here's the deal. We got to hold off on paying bonuses for 12 months. And here's why. And by the way, that you heard, you can feel the air in the room. Here's why. And they explain why. And the reasons could be very real, right? COVID this, that, whatever. But here's the point. They have to do what they need to do to keep the company afloat. They may even have to let people go. They have to make these really crazy decisions. That just doesn't happen here. That does not happen here. So one of the blessings, one of the things about our business that you have to understand is that you're in total and complete control. You are in complete control of your paycheck. You are in complete control of your acceleration through this business. You are not waiting, by the way, folks, how about this, especially for the ladies, but the guys as well, how great is it that you do not have to get the attention of a leader, a manager, an owner, a supervisor to try to work on you getting a promotion, proving to them that you should be paid more for the work that you do, change your title and get an extra dollar an hour. How great is it that that doesn't exist here? You know who promotes you? You. You promote you. And I hope that one of the things that, because I, I know I'm only with you, we have two more days left together. <laughs> so we have today and next week. So I'm going to be very direct with you guys, because I told you at the beginning of this month, one of my goals is to see who is going to accelerate and get to regional director. We want to be making, developing, producing, identifying regional directors. Okay. If you're a regional director, you want to be working towards regional vice president. And by the way, folks, people are watching like, like, like it, it, you know, start by writing this in your notes. It's time to get this done. It is time to get this done. Whatever your next position is, 
it's time. <laughs> Folks, I got to break some news to you. Listen up. Here goes. You're trained. <laughs> For God's sake, you're trained. You know how to get a customer and you know how to pique someone's interest. You're trained. It's so important for you to understand that you're trained to the degree that you can perform the tasks to get you to regional director. Will you learn leadership along the way? Yes. Can you get leadership training on calls like this? Definitely. But you know, when your leadership is tested, when things are happening in your business and you have to act. When things are happening in your business, people are joining and then they quit the next day. You have to act as the leader. You want to accelerate your business? Understand, oh God, folks, you've been trained. I'll give you an example. I'll give you a real life example. I have to see if this person is on the call here. So you have to bear with me for a second. Let me just check this little list here. Awesome. Awesome. So Oh, hang on. I have to look for one more. Hang on, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, cool. So check this out. All right, check this out. I'm going to give you guys a real life example of, of leadership. Okay. By the way, can I do this? Okay, cool. So I, I have a guy I referred to, new guy who's joined the team recently. His name is Mike. He's out, out, in, out in Long Island. What's up, Mike? I, I know your camera was on, but it's off now, I think, or something. So anyway, um, that's why I had to see if you were still on. Hey, what's up, Mike? Do we got to talk later anyway. Uh, all good. So check this out. Mike has been putting me to work. Okay? Mike he, he hit ETL, hit it within his first, you know, whatever, couple of weeks, making things happen. But I want to tell you about leadership and identifying someone that has that, I think, wired in them. Here's what it is. Mike's blowing me up with people to get on three-way calls with, which is great. I've, by the way, if, you're t if your leaders don't like three-way calls, follow what your leaders are. I'm letting you guys know, public forum, I love three-way calls. It takes the onus off of the new person, and it puts it on the leader who is capable of having a conversation. You know who's great on three-way calls? Roxanne Corleo, nationally recognized RD. She gets people on the phone with me all the time. But, but, but let me just tell you what happened with Mike, okay? So listen up, this is really important. Mike is blasting me with three-way calls. And one of the things that I had to say to Mike is, Mike, listen, here's the thing. I don't wanna miss any of your calls, but here's the way to do it. When you talk to a person and you want to get them on a three-way call with me, get a couple of times that work for them. Because if, if, if you're talking to someone and you're blowing them up, trying to get them on a three-way call and I'm not available, that doesn't look good to the leader or to that does not look good to the prospect that Mike is working with. But what looks very good is this, Hey, give me a couple of times that work. I'm going to arrange a call where you can meet the gentleman or the lady that I'm working with. And here's the key to the, here's the key phrase. Listen to this, listen up. She's only going to have a minute. He's only going to have a minute. Why is that so important? That's so important because now the person that you're going to be getting on the phone with me doesn't think that they're going to be held on the phone for, for 20 minutes trying to convince them about something. Hey, look, man, this is only going to be a quick introduction. This is going to be a minute, two tops. So I'm not going to do a whole three-way call training, but it's a coaching training in that I told that to Mike. Freaking sure enough, Mike texts me. He's got someone to do a three-way call. And he goes, here's what he said. Here's what he said to me. Mr. Torali, when, when are two times that I could set up a three-way call with so-and-so? That's it. That's our business. We just accomplished a huge goal. It sounds insignificant. You, you, you guys, this may sound insignificant to you, but I, I need you to hear me. It's not. That is representative 
of somebody who's willing to be coached, follow a system which makes this entire machine move forward and build more effectively and efficiently. So here's the thing I want you guys to know. If you want to have, by the way, who would like that kind of person on their team? Right? Absolutely. But in order to attract that kind of person, you must what? Be that kind of person. Be the person that you want to attract. You want people at the events? Be at the events. You want people getting 100 customer points? Get 100 customer points. One of the best ways to accelerate your business, and I, I know I didn't ask you guys to put it in the chat. I just dove right into this. One of the best ways to accelerate your business is this, to do the very things you want your team to do, to behave the very way you want your team to behave, to perform the very way you want your team to perform. That is the key you have an opportunity to model exactly what you want your team to do. So be careful about what you do. Make sure you're modeling the right things. Folks, we, we've heard this a million times. Go ahead and finish this. People, people do as we do, not what we say. They do as we do. So part of acceleration in our business, and you guys know this is about, this is about customers, uh, reps, billing, advancing, promotions, uh, all these things. So, 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 uh, okay. Here's the thing. We all want our businesses to be accelerating. Look, you guys, you know, I'm not going to talk about you, but by, by the way, watch this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this in a year and a half. Here goes. Okay. Here goes. I'm not going to talk about you. Let's talk about a phenomenal topic, an unbelievable topic. Ready? Me. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm going to tell you, you guys here, I want you to get my experience. If I had this thing completely figured out, okay. Little, little full disclosure here. We're all in this together. If I had this thing completely figured out, the little box on my, on my screen where it says DT RVP, it would not say that. It would say DT SVP. That's what it would say. I would be at Mr. Thomas's position. There's things to learn. There's things to grow through. But that's my responsibility. And I'll, and I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay? Right, here. I'm so tired of those three initials. Now, some of you got to be going like this. What the heck? That's amazing. You, and you're like, Dean, you're confusing us completely. Five minutes ago, you were talking about how great RVP is. And now you're saying you're sick of those initials. Let me tell you something. Because there's another set of initials that I've been working for and towards for a while. So I give you guys, per <laughs> thanks, Dave. I give you guys permission. I give you guys permission, total permission to understand how great it is that you hit the position that you're at. And I give you guys total permission to look at the letters that are uh, the position next to your name and go, you know what? Time to change. Like, I need to change that pin, man. Like, even a new executive team leader, if you're a new executive team leader on this call, guess what? Look, you're on a path to regional director. And by the way, you guys, that change from ETL to RD, that change in my opinion, is the biggest change that you will go through in our comp plan. Because when you go ETL to RD, so many things happen for you. Your business accelerates so dramatically. The compensation plan pays you three to four times the bonuses for the same work. Let me say that again. You get paid three 
to four times as much for doing the same thing you're doing right now. That's ridiculous because you went ETL to RD. So, so here's a question. And I ask myself this question all the time, going senior vice president, getting to the position that Mr. Thomas is at. Here's my question for you guys. And this is going to take a minute to just settle in with this one. Here it goes. The question is, what do you expect? What do you expect? And the question, I'm going to have to qualify it here. And I said this on purpose because there's a little clarification that has to come with my question to you. And here's what it is. When I say to you, what do you expect? What I'm really asking you is, what, it, what is your expectation of this journey? What is your expectation of becoming a regional director? I mean, do you really see yourself going regional director and regional directors? Do you really see yourself going regional vice president? Really? You know, I was texting with Natasha Ismail the other day. Uh, I know that she's working towards that position. And if you watch her or see like any of her posts or her social media or stuff, I mean, this is someone who expects to become a regional and one day a senior vice president. She couldn't post all the stuff that she does. Look, you guys, you want to talk about a, an, an exercise in futility? Hey, Lala, you're ready to get, you're ready to hit RD. I get it. it look, uh, 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 you want to talk about an exercise in futility? Could you imagine it? By the way, where's Natasha? Can you unmute her for a second? Natasha, can you speak? I know I'm totally calling you out on the spot. Not calling you out, but I know this wasn't, this wasn't planned. Is it possible or no? Hey, Natasha. Natasha can be like, Dean, I used to love you. Now I hate you. I cannot believe you put me on blast like this. But this is really important. I want everybody to hear this, Natasha. So if you can, a lot. So check this out. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. So, so listen, listen up. Natasha, is there anything that's going to stop you from becoming a regional vice president? Nope. Do you know what your regional vice president <laughs> song is going to be? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you, have, how many times have you imagined walking the stage and hearing Mr. Provenzano tell your story to everybody? Almost every day. Yeah. You hear that? Okay, cool. Let me ask you this. Do you understand exactly what the structure and what is needed for you to accomplish your goal? Yes. You know exactly right now, and I'm not going to ask you to share it, but could you, you could, you could tell me privately exactly how many points and what legs you are away from regional vice president any given day. True. Yep. When is the last time that you can remember not doing something for your ACN business in a day? I feel incomplete, so I can't. Let me tell you something. What is it going to, what is it going to mean to you? What is it going to mean to you personally when, when that, uh, when that report changes from RD to RVP, what, what is it going to mean? Just freedom and actually accomplishing something that's just bigger than myself and for other people. I would tell you guys, first of all, Natasha had absolutely no idea that I was going to ask her to say this stuff. And that I was going to ask her. She had no idea what my questions were going to be because I didn't know I was going to do that. But I just want you guys to know that to me, and there's other examples, but this is one that I'm familiar with. I'm very familiar with that. She is already putting herself in the position and acting, presenting, existing like a regional vice president. So now what's a matter, what has to happen is it's just a matter now of this, watch this. It's just now a matter of the right people finding their way into her sphere of influence. And when they do, and they're the right person, because of the road she's already on, she's going regional vice president. Like that's going to happen. What happens is this, what Natasha doesn't do, what Julian Lewis doesn't do, what Roxanne doesn't do, and any host of other regional directors that are committed to going regional vice president, Ryan Ruiz doesn't do is start, stop. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. 
Somebody doesn't like it. Somebody quits. Oh, you know what? I think I got to take a little break from this thing. That is not part of that. That is not, that's good, Willie. That's not part of the RVP plan. That's not part of the RVP plan. What the RVP plan is, is you get knocked down seven times, you get up eight. And you do that over and over and over until a Natasha Ismail comes into your business. Until a Brian Baker or Roxanne or a Ryan comes into your business. Or if you, uh, a Julian Lewis, or let me tell you, uh, uh, um, you guys think of it like this, right? How about this? How about you do it to the point and one of those people who becomes a regional director leads you to, to uh, maybe the Kings regional directors on this call. Or how about this? How about one of those names comes into you? Now, I want you to really imagine this with me. Actually, don't imagine. I want you to visualize this with me. Somewhere in your team, a Natasha Ismail joins. A Julian Lewis, a Roxanne, a Ryan, the Kings, uh, a Brian Baker, any of the regional directors that, that are on this call. Can't name all, all of them. And they say, I got you. They, they look at you or they call you. They do what Mike's, they do what Mike Coates is doing. Listen to me. It's going to come full circle. They do what Mike Coates is doing. And Natasha, Rox, Ryan, Julian, whoever, they get you on a three-way call. And here's what they say. Hey, I met a, an individual. She's awesome. I want you to talk to her. When can we schedule that three-way call? And you say, well, I can do it at this time or this time. Okay, I'll confirm it with you. You get the text message. I confirmed the three-way call. The three-way call is confirmed and they get you on a three-way call. And here's the introduction. Uh, uh, hey, sir. Hey, ma'am. You, I, I want to, thank you so much for taking our call. I want to introduce you to this amazing individual that I just met. Um, she's great. She, uh, she works in a hair salon. Her name is Jocelyn Driscoll. Jocelyn, here's my, the leader I'm working with, Natasha, Julian, uh, whomever. And you're now doing a phone call with Jocelyn Driscoll. By the way, would you be excited today? Let, let, let me tell you something. Willie got it. He just went like, Willie got it. He just went like this. He just flexed his guns. Let me tell you something. You guys are too cool about this. You're too freaking cool. You'd freak out if that happened. And then this happens to you. Jocelyn starts to learn the system. And here's the call that happens. Hey, you, because now you're the upline leader. Hey, you, are y'all with me on this? Hey, you, it's me, Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn, how's it going? Hey, listen, I wanted to let you know, I met an individual, love to do a three-way call. I'm going to cut a couple different times that work for you. Okay, great. Just text me. Let me know. Cool. Click. You get a text message. The individual is clear at one o'clock today or at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Which one works? Let's do one o'clock today. I'm good for about three to five minutes. No problem. Done. Set up. Hey, you. It's Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn. How are you? Listen, I, I have the individual on the other line. I'd like to make this quick introduction. Great. No problem. That's you. You're the leader. And here's what Jocelyn says. Hey, uh, Miss Ismail, uh, Mr. Lewis, uh, Miss Coralejo, uh, Mr. Ruiz. Uh, uh, um, I, it's a pleasure to introduce you to this amazing individual I met. His name is Al. Hey, Al, I, uh, pleasure to introduce you to. And Jocelyn Driscoll, Driscoll gets you on a three-way call with Al Thomas, who becomes a what? Senior vice president in your team. Why do I give you guys this example? And Natasha, thank you. You're a love. Uh, I really appreciate it. Why do I give you this example? I'm going to tell you why. Because everybody got a phone call or an invitation from someone. The only question you have to ask yourself, are you prepared to be that leader to get someone in front of the information? Are you that leader? And if you're not, that's okay. Are you working towards becoming that leader? Are you paying attention to what's being said? Are you paying attention to what's being taught? And, you know, by the way, for the record, Mr. Thomas knows I feel this way about this is, is, and I'm not, I'm not really referencing his daily call. That's not what I'm referencing when I'm about to share with you, but I am going to tell you this. There's so many different people and teams and leaders and 
RVPs and systems and this and that. And people, sometimes they get, it's, it's information overload and they become professional meeting attenders and they become professional students, right? And I'm asking you guys to be, I want you to guys to become part-time professionals here. I really do. But I don't want you to become professional students. At one point, it's out of the classroom. Get out of the freaking classroom and get into the real world and go use the things that you've learned and go fall down. Skin your knee. Get turned down. Get stood up. You guys have heard me say this before. The regional directors on this call, the only thing that they have more than you is they've been stood up more than you. They've been blown off more than you. They've had people not come through more than you. They've driven two hours for a meeting for no shows more than you. You know what Jocelyn and I have more than the regional directors on this call? We have more people that have blown us off than you. We have more people that have not shown up than you. We have more people that have started and quit than you. Happened this morning. Happened this morning to someone on the team. Swear to God, signed him up yesterday. Uh, wife is a lawyer, did the research. Today, he's out. I feel so bad for them. I feel so bad for them. I'm not upset. I actually feel bad for them. They're going to miss something like we're on right now. Insane. Like, literally, it's insanity to me. And Al Thomas has had more people flake, not show up, any of those things, then, then Jocelyn and I, why he's a senior vice president. So <laughs> look at, look at, look at, <laughs> this is not meant for you guys to be depressed. Oh my God. We got on with Dean. They said, everybody's going to flake and nobody's going to show up and nobody's going to be a customer and nobody's going to join the team and nobody's going to get promoted. Nobody's going to get qualified. What the hell am I even doing here? That is not what I'm saying. <laughs> What I'm saying is when those things happen and they will, my clinical advice, this is medical advice I'm about to give to you. So get it down. When the, you write this down, when those things happen to me, dot, 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 <laughs> when those things happen to me, dot, 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 and they will, dot, dot, dot. Dean said, dot, dot, dot. So just get that down. When those things happen to me, dot, dot, dot. And they will, dot, dot, dot. Dean said, dot, dot, dot. And you have to write this in capital letters. Ready? <laughs> Here it goes. Take a look at the screen. I'm going to talk to all of you. Take a look at the screen. When those things happen, dot, dot, dot. And they will, dot, dot, dot. Dean said, dot, dot, dot. Don't trip. Don't trip. Stop tripping. Who cares? So what? Don't trip. Mama said there'd be days like this. That's why you know you're doing something great. And I'm going to tell you something. Here's proof that not everybody says no. There's 76 people on this call. Not everybody says no. Here's how I can tell you that not everyone says no. I've been to the world headquarters, 150,000 square feet of office, 27 countries. People join, people succeed. People want to take their business to the next level. People, like I'm telling you guys, the question is, do you have the intestinal fortitude? Do you have the strength to go through those no's, to go through those flakes, to go through those people who, by the way, something that you should learn, people many times don't do the things they said they were going to do. Oh my God, life-changing information. <laughs> you should, your kid said she was going to clean her room and she didn't. Now you're freaking out that someone didn't show up to a meeting? You guys, this is just the deal. So what is the thing that balances the scales on all of this? What's the thing that balances the scales on all of this? Everything that I said, Mike actually put it in the chat. He said next. And what that means to me 
is the law of large numbers will never fail you. And unfortunately, many of you are not playing the law of large numbers. You're playing the large of you're playing the the game of hope numbers. I hope this one does it. And hope is not a great business strategy. You guys have heard me say that before. By the way, the world needs hope. We can be proof and then provide hope. See, if you're proof, now you can provide hope to someone. Right? So your expectations need to be set very high. That's what accelerates your business. When you have high expectations of yourself, don't worry about the expectations of your team. Let your team see what you're doing. Have high expectations of yourself. Watch what happens. When you act on the expectations that you've set up, you are now separating yourself from the masses. This is not a training about acquiring customers. Do we have to acquire customers? Absolutely. This is not a training about peaking people. Do we have to pique people's interest? Of course. Otherwise, by the way, if you don't continue to pique people and build, congratulations, you've arrived at the top of where your ACN business is going to go. So here's something that you guys, here's a couple of things that you guys can write down in terms of expectations. Okay. And then we're going to wrap up. It'll be done earlier and earlier each week. Production, points, promotions, and payouts. Pretty easy. Production, points, promotions, and payouts. What are your expectations for production this week? What are your expectations for the production in your business this week? How many people are joining? Notice that I didn't say this month, this week. What are your expectations? Okay, I expect to have a new rep join the team this week. Great. We got to do probably 10 to 15 presentations. Are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to do that? Oh, you guys get this. Please get this through your heads. Are you prepared to do that so you could have the story of one of those people joining your team and one, two, three, four, five days, five weeks, five months from now, you get the phone call on a three-way call that you've taught your new business partner how to do and they have an Al Thomas on the other line. Are you prepared to do that? Oh, you don't really understand. You know, are you excited about this business? No, I'm, I'm really excited. I would, who, who would know? Who would know? You may as well be freaking playing poker. I mean, I love Vegas, but you, but you guys, it, 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 come on. I mean, you know the old joke. We say, hey, I mean, are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Well, tell your face. No one can tell. <laughs> Crack a smile. Let's see your teeth. <laughs> points. What's your expectation this week? You're at 17 customer points. You've been there for five months. Break 20. Let's get you to 20 customer points. Then 20 to 30, 30 to 40. Set an expectation. How about promotion expectations? Do you, by the way, if you have one person on your team, one, you have a team. And you can help that person earn a promotion, whether it's a point promotion or a position promotion. What's your expectation? How about payouts? What's your expectation for this week? By the way, is anybody expecting to get a direct deposit this weekend? Well, you know, I'm kind of going along. I mean, I, yeah, I, by the way, I know Al is residual weekend. Wasn't hard to see, wasn't hard to see his hand go up. Thanks a lot, Al. Throw it right in my face. I get RVP residual. You get SVP residual. They really appreciate you having me on this call, man. I was kidding. <laughs> Listen, last thought, you guys. I, I, I want, I was going to say I need you to understand the difference, but I really don't. I don't need you to do anything. I need Al to understand where this message is coming from. That's important to me because he's a mentor. He's someone that is, you know, I've told you guys, you know, we've had conversations and stories, but, but I, 
I do want you to get this. And it does mean a lot to me because I hope one of you takes the action required to, 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 to really accelerate your run to these next positions. So here goes what I, what I want you guys to understand. I don't really need you to understand. There you go. Look at the, look in the chat. You guys, Roxanne, Roxanne put her expectation for this week, five new reps, two CQs, 30 team points. There you go. So it shouldn't be surprised, should not be a surprise to you that she's been on the charts consistently the last four months because her expectation is to be there. Her expectation is she expects that of herself. So check this out. I want you to understand this. I kind of need you to understand it, um, but I don't need, like, I'll be okay if you don't. <laughs> Let me say this again. I encourage you to adopt this because this is Al Thomas as well. Look, I, I, I want you to understand what I'm about to share with you. I, I kind of need you to understand if you want to go where you say you, you want to go, but I don't really need you to understand. You can do it, do with it what you want. Al, true? So here goes. I want you guys to understand the difference between being an observer and a participant. And I want you to understand the difference between being a participant and a leader. An observer is very valuable because there's a phenomenal environment that Al has created here that can impact a lot of areas of your life. A participant is someone who wants to have some of the rewards that can be earned in ACN. And I don't just mean financially. You're actually participating, which means there's, there's an element of being vulnerable, right? Look, Natasha had no freaking idea that I was gonna ask her to speak, but because she's a leader and she, she's vulnerable, but she's also, uh, she's, she is a leader. She's like, okay, hang on, let me get my camera on. Let me, I wasn't planning on saying anything, but here I am. And she shared what I asked of her, okay? But understand the difference between observing and being a participant and the difference between being a participant and being a leader. Here's what a leader can do. I'm gonna end with this because it's a leadership call. A leader can go from zero to a hundred in a day. What do I mean by that? You wake up in the morning, you have nothing going on in your business, you have no new customers, you have no new reps, you have no activity happening in your business. And by the time your head hits the pillow that night, you have, you have peaked 10 people, you have three follow-up calls, you have someone who's going to be a customer that you've been thinking about calling forever, they signed up and you got them signed up on ID Seal, and you're going to bed that night and tomorrow, Friday, after Mr. Byron Nelson, who I love, by the way, that was just a Mr. Byron Nelson, who everybody loves, after his call, you have three appointments set up for presentations because you did three-way calls properly with your leader. Now we're talking. Now today's call was worth it because by, by the weekend, you have activity happening in your business. Now we're, now, now, now we're getting ready to set up. Y'all are getting ready to set up September. I'm going to be with you in September. But now you're getting ready to set up September. No, you're not. Scratch that. You're setting up September. You're not getting ready to set up September. You're setting up September. And that's what I want for you guys. That's what I hope for you guys. So, Mr. Thomas, that's what I got.